Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back again with Bulldozer Power and the Electro Sports Baseball League in Super Mega Baseball Part 3. There's a lot of words in that intro. Anyway, we're in uh, Game 3 of the quarterfinals. Uh, the series is tied 1-1 one to one at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. I should have won the last one. The last one was an absolute humdinger as far as excitement was concerned, but completely useless when it comes to uh, to actually advancing our cause. So, it's going to be uh, the, the first team to win two more games. Let's get one of them done, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a, think that's a good idea. Right, let's, uh, let's play... Uh, uh, who are we working with? Right, Papal is injured. That's interesting. That's actually very... I, I don't even know how he got injured. Maybe he, he tweaked something. Uh, either way, he's coming out, and we're going to put... Uh, well, we've got Veronica or Lynn. Uh, Veronica, obviously. There's uh, there's not a lot you don't know already about Veronica Hammock. And uh, so we won't talk about that. Lynn, very, very reliable uh, when it comes to making contact with the ball at, that, uh, at the plate. Her fielding, not all that. Yeah. Ashley... Lynn's, Lynn's uh, contact is, is pretty much the same as Veronica's. We'll put in Veronica. I mean, there was never there was never any question about it, really. Um, meanwhile, Steve, the Steve Mori, uh, he's uh, he's maybe a little under the weather. Oh, you know what? I'm going to sub him out for this one because regardless of, uh, of how we perform, uh, it's hardware, uh, in this one, uh, we are going to have to play another game against the Colonel School and, uh, and having... Uh, our uh, our starting catcher available for that, I think, is probably a good plan. So, anything else? Cindy Vapid's in a rotten mood. Well, it's not that bad. Uh, it's, uh, let's be honest. Um, am I taking her out of the team? Do you think a, a game off would help? It might. But she's staying in. All right. Okay. What about crampons? What 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 of the crampons question? No, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Brenda Ferrite in. But you know what? I might move her position. Uh, where would you where would you stick her? I don't know. Leave her where she is, and then see if there's there's maybe some changes to be made afterwards. Uh, Ominous Bob is our starting pitcher, and he is woeful. I do not want to give up another game, so uh, I would far sooner we have in a, a proper starter here. How about Spire? Oh, he's horrible. Just just a terrible pitcher. Yeah, he really is. Uh, Veronica's, uh, sorry, Vivian's uh, mood is bad. Um, Chet, he's not quite at full uh, at full capacity. Ooh. All right, we'll save Chet because we'll try and get it done. Uh, I'm going to give Ominous two, two to three innings to see if he's uh, up to much. And if he is, then, uh, then uh, we'll keep him in. But I think we plan... For uh, for putting in Mark Disneyland Tulip Banter uh, and getting it done that way. This is probably the most strategy I've ever put into my lineup. Let's go. Okie dokie. Right. Well, he's Mew, Mr. Cag, uh, Plastic Vicky. You know the names. We have played them. Jeff with Boats is going to be the pitcher for Colonel School, uh, and uh, and they're up first. Uh, for the battings, so we'll we'll see what uh, we'll see what ominous is made of pretty quickly. I think uh, right. Well, let's start them off with a fastball. His, his fastball's not fast, so but his accuracy is good. Well, I've gone for the first one, and fortunately that one's gone foul. Okay, all right, okay, all right. So we're away. All right. Oh, his accuracy is nice. That's that's some that's some nice accuracy. Uh, do him a no. Do him another curveball. Uh, yeah. That's good. It's up in the sky. Uh, Brenda's looking for it. We, we've got... I don't care who catches it, as long as one of you does. Anyway, that one's out. Uh, here's Mr. Cag. Oh, look at him. Confident as you like. He hasn't hit anything yet in the uh, in the playoffs, but uh, that's possibly because he's not had a go yet. Uh, I remember him coming in as a, uh, as a pinch hitter occasionally. Uh, but... Uh, ooh, nice pitch. Um, all right, so let's try this. That's good. Get out. All right. Well, I'm not entirely sure why he wasn't out to start with. I suppose even on a strike, you're allowed to run. Most people don't because there's absolutely no point in doing so. Anyway, that's two outs now. Here's the, uh, here's the plastic vicar. Uh, we'll try him on a slider to get started. Oh, he's got a, he's got a load of that one. Failure. No, no, no. Failure couldn't get to it. 
And he's going to get a two base hit off that, which, to be honest, is probably a bit of a waste because we're now bringing up another good batter. And uh, and if they can't make a run out of this, which they might make a run out of this, you never know. Um, you know, he's put that in the same place. That's going a long way. It's gone a very long way. We got nothing. Forget I said anything. I was about to say that they'd wasted a good hitter at the plate there and that they'd got nothing out of it, but uh, Hooker's tree ball there bunging in uh, a homer uh, to get themselves uh, a pair of runs. Oh, ominous. Ominous, what is what is your problem? All right, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's try and uh, finish these people off before they do any more damage. Come on, Zoltan. This is why you're still in the team. Good lad. All right, okay, side retired, but we gave up two. Uh, there's nothing you can do about home run, really, other than pitch better. But uh, but honestly, with the pitcher I've got, pitching at all is going to be uh, a mission in and of itself. Yeah, I suppose it is. Anyway, Zoltan, he's got the patience. Uh, he's got the feeling. That's uh, ball three. All right, that's all right. We'll wait. Look, Zoltan traditionally gets himself out. Uh, and therefore, using up five pitches off you, clown boy. Uh, I think that was even six pitches. Um, you know, it's all good. And he got a walk out of it as well. Here's Furious. Yeah, this makes me wonder about Vivian at three. You know. yeah, that's Veronica. I, I know you've got a bit of a fixation with women whose name begins with V. I, th I think they make for good first names. I, can't, I couldn't tell you why. Um, but, uh, but there it is. Ball three now for Furious. Strike one. All right, walk another one, son. You know what? Ah, oh, you're up in the big leagues now, pal. Uh, you're going to need to uh, to up your tempo, increase your gameplay. Ball one. Uh, Veronica not biting. Jeff with boats. Jeff with accuracy problems is more like it. And Veronica likes it. Booyah! Well, off the bench, friends, coming in for Papal Event Horizon. And uh, the first swing we actually make in this innings is a three-run home run. And Bulldozer Power have the lead. No outs. Kojak Mr. on next up to uh, face Jeff with uh, increasing emotional difficulties uh, based on his pitching. Yeah, that's ball two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, that was a good wallop, but a little bit premature. And uh, that sent it foul. There's ball three. Strike one. We've been here before. Oh, yes! It's there. Kojak Mr. on. Does it? I mean... Ow! I mean, we've seen a few pitchers brained in our times. I reckon he's probably had enough. But he's still in. Okay. He's rattled. Well, you would be. <laughs> he's, he's been well and truly jangled there. Oh, ow! Ooh! Anyway, failure needs to, uh, needs to get, some, uh, get some composure. Uh, I think that was a little bit outside, so there, son. Ball, Ball two. Failure in no hurry. We're going to burn through this pitcher in no time at all. And it's a good one. And uh, we're going to get two bases off that. Possibly a run if we're quick. No, 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 no. Everyone back up. Everyone back up. Everyone back up. Failure's got himself out. He hasn't got himself out. Von Kludge there. No, Completely Kludge. missing the tag. Um... Well, Bulldozer Power are off to, the, uh, off to the flyer of a start here. That's the nicest pitch I've ever seen in my whole life. Anyway, here comes the rubbish again. All right, okay. How long are they keeping this idiot in for? Cindy there, flapping at a high one. Should have left that alone. But it's Cindy Vapid. You never know what uh, what's going to happen. She likes that. She's going to get herself out. But are we going to get a run? Yes. All right, okay. Sacrificial run there from Cindy Vapid is Julie Hardware. And, uh, well, you know, we hate him. We we hate that Julie Hardware. But if he can get on base, we'll get a run, and that'll be good. Uh, but he's, uh, he's waiting for the pitch that feels about right. That one. That one was the pitch that felt about right. Come on, Julie. You can do it. Let's go. Either that or keep soaking up pitches. That's good, too. That's not bad. In fact, that's very, very good. Very, very good. Julie Hardware there with a double. And uh, that's another run for Bulldozer Power. My goodness me. This opening inning has all the drum. And, uh, and somehow, uh, the pitcher, despite having been uh, manfully destroyed in the bathing suit area, 
uh, is still pitching. Yeah, check that out. Brenda doesn't care. She goes like, no, what's this waiting for one pitch to sail past? No, 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 I'm into it. Uh, they're going to take this geezer out at some point, and we might as well uh, benefit while he's still in. Here's Ominous. Ominous, what? here's the only rule here, Ominous. Don't get two of you out, okay? You're allowed to get out, but don't get anybody else out at the same time. What a, what a hit. Ominous Bob there, getting another run for the team. Ah, runners now first and second. Um, yeah, we're destroying them. But it won't last. I mean, uh, here's Zoltan. This might be the end of the inning for us here. Uh, I mean, Zoltan managed to get on base uh, through a walk. Uh, the, uh, the accuracy of the pitching here is, is dreadful. Nope, he's put it away. That's all good. And that will load the bases up. Yeah. Okay, bulldozer power. Uh, one out. Furious sponge bath up next. And uh, as long as, well, you know, you know the scenario we're we're in here. I mean, you don't need me to. Uh, whoa, 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 Furious. Easy, gentle, gentle. Wait for it. Anyway, something about a scenario. Yeah. Oh, he's made a mess of that. Everyone back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, one left. Who's it going to be? Well, it's Veronica Hammock who got a home run with her first at bat. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, this isn't going to work, then, is it? No, I'd, I'd, I'd be very surprised if we got anything off this. Uh, but that's okay. We've already done quite a lot of damage in this inning. It'd be nice to do some more. And there's another run. Picks later with the, uh, the throw to home. Uh, bulldozer power. The train is rolling. And uh, here's Kojak. Last time around, of course, Kojak uh, dismembered the pitcher. This time around, she just gets another run batted in. I have not changed the difficulty. Just Oh, they've had enough of him, finally. Here comes Bomb Soz, who I believe we lit up quite dramatically last time around. Uh, but uh, he was on the winning side at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, it's not everything. Oh, come on, failure. You can swing better than that, son. Oh, he's forced the pitcher into not doing very well. And that's another run. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't known the likes in a very long time. Oh, it's Cindy again. Just, just, all right. This will, this will be it. This is it. This is the end of the inning. No, that's it. No more now. Oh, Cindy. <laughs> really? I mean, you know, there's going out soft and then there's just flapping at absolutely nothing. Nine plays two at the end of the first inning. Uh, we've already retired one pitcher. Um, so that's, that's nice. Now, what we should not do here is get complacent. We should be aiming to uh, dispatch these clowns. Well, in fact, the quicker we dispatch the clowns, uh, the quicker the game's over. So let's let's do that, shall we? Clowns to the dispatcher. Ominous, if you wouldn't mind putting in a fair ball once in a while, that'd be nice. There you go. That's good. Right, I'll try and finish in with one of these. See how you go. Oh, that's well inside. Okay, what? Someone get it. Good job, Sid. Nice bit of sliding style there from Cindy Vapid. Uh, here's Von Kludge, uh, who failed to make a tag earlier on that could have ruined that scoring drive that we went on. But uh, we're eternally grateful to him for uh, for being terrible. Julius, catch the ball, son. It's kind of critical to your position. All right? It's called catcher. All right? Therefore, if there were one skill that you should have above all others... It is catching, Cindy. Dives over the top of it. Yeah, I know. It was a, there was a bit of an uncanny bounce on that. It was it was quite tricky to judge. Uh, here's Monty Rico, the left base field base uh, stop. Uh, and uh, oh, he anticipated a slider and left it alone. Uh, surely anticipating that it would be a ball and leaving that alone would be uh, a better anticipatory skill. No, ominous, you didn't fancy that. I mean, literally, put your glove up and you'd have got it. All right, all right, never mind. Here's their pitcher. Now, part of me says, you know, if we were to kill their pitchers, we would not only do them in this game, but in subsequent games as well. Take it easy. All right, there you go. All right, well, okay, a sacrifice there to first in order to advance the uh, runners. That's okay. They do need the runs. Um, 
And they're not going to get it like that. Come on, Furious. Go on, you've got the legs, son. No, no, no. All right, Veronica's coming. If you'd have given me control over the right player there, I'd have had that. But never mind. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. That one's going up. Come on, failure. 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 Lovely. All right. No damage done. Side retired. Uh, moving into the bottom of the second. It's Julie Hardware. He got himself a double with a run batted in. I think just about everybody did that in the first innings. So uh, so that's that's all good. Yep. All right. Come on in. Come on. That is not a strike. On what planet is that a strike? Oh, flipping hardware. Oh, you ruddy clown. Get off my field. All right, here comes Brenda. Well, we're at the bottom of the order here, so anything could happen. We, I, I mean, I don't know exactly where Brenda's rightful position in the batting order lives. Uh, she's uh, she's last man at the moment, and that's... Uh, I know no, we don't we don't count pitches, um, and therefore you know she could do anything here. But uh, she's largely on a on a proving herself outfit move today. She's going to get caught there. Yeah, done. The aspiration was good. The execution was not. Ominous. Have a sit down. I think your pitching days are over for today, son. Uh, let's uh, let's bring in someone exciting. Well, it's not going to be it's not going to be painful. Uh, is it crampons time? Now let's bring in Big Rod. Okay. Well, what if you need a substitution later on? Big Rod being gone is not going to help you. Big Rod there throwing it all away. And uh, that's the end of the second inning. Uh, the first inning, of course, taking absolutely ages. Second inning over in a flash. Uh, that's the way we like it. Here's Mr. Cag. They're around to the top of the order again. Uh, in fact, they're, they're order plus one. Ooh, nice hits. Yeah, up towards the fence. Of course, I'm going to be slightly less congratulatory about their hits if they start eroding my lead. Uh, but at the moment, I feel very comfortable and therefore possibly do have a little bit of complacency setting in. Let's not. Shall we, shall we not do that? Uh, we do want to get them out after all. Yeah, okay. Go on. Nice. Okay, and then uh, do you think you'll fall for the change-up? Well, I think there's a chance of it. Give it a go. There it is. Get off. Ah, the plastic vicar there suckered. Uh, like a thing that you would give a toddler. And, uh, therefore, he's done. Good. Nice. Uh, this is Hooker's True who, uh, who who caught some damage with his first at bat with a home run. Do you think he'll fall for the change up? No. I think he'll have just seen it. I think chuck another fast one in there. All right. Well, you know, it had a had a positive effect. What do you think he'll go for now? I don't know. Chuck another fast ball in there. Like it. There it is. Yep. Bye. Good. Okay, Mark Disneyland making an impact early on. That's, uh, that's two strikeouts that he's had so far. He's got to be. He's got to be pleased with that. Well, I'm pleased with it. He doesn't have to be anything. Go on, Veronica. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I mean, almost got there again. If it had given me the right player, we might have had that. Look, just because it's going foul doesn't mean I don't want to field it. All right, that's uh, strike two. What should we do next? Oh, go fast. No, give him another curve. All right. Okay, try that. That one's gone skyward. Julie, 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 anyone? Julie's hard. All right, good. Three down, and Zoltan's up. He's had a single and a walk today. Oh, they've had enough of bum sauce. And Father Tempest is coming in. They're going through all of their uh, pitching staff. Oh, that one had some zing on it. Nice pitch. It was a rubbish pitch, but a nice pitch anyway. Uh, right. Smash. Oh, nice bit of fielding there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh ah. I feel like saying oh quite a lot. But, uh, I've done that now, so I can I can move on to other things. All right, look, calm it down. Calm it down. Let's try and... Never mind. Never mind. It's not Furious's day. No, it really isn't. You know whose day it is, though? Is it Veronica's day? At bat, yeah, fielding, hopeless, but uh, batting, pretty good. And uh, she's uh, slithered that one out of centre field, and she'll uh, she'll get herself on base as a result. Uh, would be nice to be able to make something of that. Here's Gojack, the destroyer. Yes. The lamentation of pitches, pitchers. Yeah, I know, Dane, if you could remember the whole of that uh, overused cliche of a... A speech there, you might get something from it. 
not quite fast enough. A tiny little feat failing to carry uh, uh, Veronica to first base in time. And the side is retired and we're into the fourth inning now. And uh, this is Pix later, uh, the right fielder who will be uh, up first to face Disneyland's Fury, uh, which is the uh, opening ride of the, the new I've had enough of all of this mouse business uh, ride at a uh, theme park that you may be familiar with. No, no, no. Zoltan gets that one. Twice a second. We've given up too many of these, you know. Shouldn't be letting them on base quite as often. But I believe that the Colonel School are a hitting team, much as we are. Uh, for those uh, unfamiliar with the, the bulldozer power uh, kind of secret source, and that one's gone a distance. Um, uh, we are a, a heavy hitting team, but not particularly great on defense. That was a big hit, that one. Von Kludge there, wanging it in. All right. Well, that cuts our lead to five. And, uh, well, I mean, we'll, we'll see how we get on. There's still no outs so far in this inning. Um, but we'll, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how we go. That one's got a furious. Let's hope his fielding's better than his batting. Out number one. Right, it's Father Tempest. It does look quite tasty. Now, were it, uh, were it not that I had a, uh, a fresh pitcher on the mound here, I would be tempted to, uh, to dismantle their pitcher, uh, right now. Because he looks, he looks quite handy when he's doing the pitching. Wallop! No. No wallop. Okay. Uh, sucker in with a curvy. Alright, it's not gone far, Julie. Smash. Okay, two down. And that will bring up He's Mew, who is 0 for 2 today. Well, he's an opening batter. Look at him, he's terrified. Uh, opening batter, He's Mew, uh, who has the uh, the thankless task of being at the top of the order. Uh, that, one's, that one's gone the wrong place. Um... And, uh, and clearly, it's not just uh, the BDP who, who struggle with uh, top of the order batting. I don't know where that one's going to go. I went, went to the right place. It's all good. All right. How are you getting on with this? Uh, Disneyland, your uh, your accuracy is woeful. Just, just so you know. Anyway, we got them out. Now, if I score here, then all is well. If I fail to score in this inning, then uh, we need to start digging a little bit deeper defensively. Uh, failure there, off to uh, a promising start with a single base hit. Perfect. Well, yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's reliable. He's not been that flashy. In seasons past, failure has been quite flashy. This year, not so much, but he's, uh, he's reliably hit, and, uh, and therefore, uh, that's good. Cindy there with a, with a decent hit, but uh, the wrong side of the line. That one, oh, forces an error from the pitcher. She doesn't get there. But failure advances to second. Uh, this will bring up Julie. Yeah, we hate him. Yep. yep. We just hate his smug little face. Father Tempest there with a little bit of whizzle going on the ball. That's technical. Uh, Julie there slapping that one out over the foul line. Uh, that's uh, ball two, strike one. You're not going to get him. Do you know why? It's because I'm never advancing him. Julie there. Giving that one up for nothing. Get back to your base failure. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, Jules. Can't wait till Steve's back. Uh, right, Brenda Ferrite. One of two today. Brenda Ferrite, of course. Uh, we don't know where. She should be in the lineup. So uh, right now she's here. In the lineup. At this point, this this stage of the lineup is where she's at. Ball two, strike one. You know I'm going to say that about her for the rest of her career, right? Thank you, base. There we go. And uh, Brenda Fire Ferrite gets a walk as uh, well. Mark Disneyland. He looks. He looks full of confidence. Uh, we got two out. Mark, don't hose this. That was a, that was where you wanted it, Mark. You were just a month and a half late to the pitch. And that one, uh, oh. Uh, oh well, all right. Well, it is what it is. All right, better defense team, please. We don't want this lead to be eroded any further. Furious, nice, good. Okay, that's one done. Here's the vicar. He's uh, he's had a hit today, and that was uh, that was for a double, which would have made him very pleased with himself. 
and uh, well, let's, let's see if he can continue to be pleased with himself over subsequent performances. Uh, so far, I would say probably, probably not so much. Let's see if he can be suckered with a third pitch change up again. No, 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 he can't. And Veronica can't get to her, and that's Iron Man. Alright, okay. Now, in uh, in professional terms, I would say the rot is now setting in. Uh, yeah. We've 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 got to be able to continue hitting, and we've got to stop these clowns from scoring. And so far, it well for a couple of innings now, we haven't managed either of those things. So let's start, shall we? Oh, where's that going? That wasn't even me. That was that was just randomly going wrong. Strike two. Come on, Diz, do him. Uh oh. No, it's all right. It's fine. It's got to send it. She'll chuck it first. That's now. Okay. Right. See, I'm getting all hot and bothered now. You see, about them having scored a single run. It's a home run. There's not a lot you can do. It's not like, you know, they've built that up over, you know, multiple at-bats and uh, got all oh, Disneyland with the snag. Get off. Um, no, they did it off one hit. But they can chip away at this lead and uh, and do me like a kipper. So uh, I've, I've got to get something rolling here. You know, even if it's only a couple of hits, that was Zoltan there with a with an on base hit, which is something that is some a term. Well, it's probably multiple terms. Uh, it's hitless furious up next. He's had a walk, but nothing else. And now he's going to get him and his friend out. I bet it's because Papal's not playing. Now. Usually, he's he's big chums with Papal. Papal's there, willing him on. As he's uh, as he's on deck waiting to bat, and uh, and uh, today Papal's out because Papal's hurt. Veronica, oh, she's going to get on base again. That makes her four for four today. Um, if uh, if anyone was wondering who the bright spark in today's bright spark list is going to be, it's going to be Veronica Hammock. Uh, it's Kojak. Wait for it. Wait. For it. Come on, Kojak. That'll do. Kojak there with a nice base hit. And uh, Veronica advances to second. We are on two outs here. Uh, it would be very nice to get a score in this game. Inning. Well, we've had some score in this game, but another score uh, since the scoring drought started would be jolly handy. Failure there. Oh, that was close. He's still in. That's better. No, it's not. No, it's not better. Oh, no, they've, they've, they've fluffed it. We're going for two, but that's a bad idea. Ah, oh, it's out number three. Did the run count? No, it didn't. Oh, God. Oh, no. I shouldn't be ashamed of myself. I should have just I should have just stayed. But I knew Cindy was up next, and that was never a good idea. Oh, no. Oh. Now the right that will in no way come back to haunt me. It's okay. It's all fine. No, just it, everything's fine. No, start them with a fastball. We don't do that very often. Nice. Good. Okay, now took a curver in. Good. Right. Now fox him with one of these. Okay, friend up. Nice. Okay, good. That was simple. Next, Von Kludge. Home run. Single. Two runs batted in. He's been pretty consistent today. He's playing well. Uh, and he's got a tidy little moustache. That's tidy. Not tiny. No. It is little. It's not also tiny. A tiny little moustache. Uh, would rather be an overuse of language there. Hang on, where's that one going? Is it going to, oh no, it's going into a complicated position. He's playing very well, Von Kludge. That's because I said that his fielding was woeful. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and as a result, he's uh, he's playing quite nicely. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's clearly got the uh, he's got a bit between his teeth. He's uh, he's got his dander up. Yep. No, never mind. Ah, you can leave that one. Right, he's a he's a whiffer, is Monte Rico. That's good. He's a, he's not whiffed that though, has he? No, he's got he's got his team another win, eroding our lead to three. Oh no! Yeah, I know. This is inning number six. If they continue getting one run per inning, they win the game. They're taking out the pitcher. They're bringing in Cowie Drake. Who we made a bit of a mess of in the uh, in the opening game of this series. Well, you never know. He might come good in this one. And the way that I'm playing at the moment, he probably will. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Alright, 
Okay. And what should we finish him with? Try my change up. Someone's going to fall for it again. They're bound to. Try it about there. Why, why even bother aiming? It's not like you put it ever where you want it to go anyway. This is this is very true. Come on, get him gone. Go on, get out. Out of there. Right. Out number two. Back round to the top of the order. It's he's Mew again for his fourth at bat. He's 0 for three today. And uh, well, we've got to get him. We've got to get him gone as well. I anticipated a first pitch slider. All right, all right, okay, all right, come on. Let's, uh, let's get this rolling. Failure. Has it. Out number three. But once again, giving up a run. Uh, they're bringing in Jalen Rubenstein, who's going to do some pitching. We've got to score. We've either got to stop score or stop them from scoring. Those are the two things. And actually, that's, uh, that's baseball. That's, that's the whole aim of the game. Yeah. Cindy is going the distance. Well, that's what we would have had with the bases loaded. Well, would we, though? No, we probably wouldn't. Uh, but as it is, Cindy, the unexpected vapid, whacks it over the fence. And there's that score that we were looking for. Meanwhile, here's Julius. I hate him hardware. There you go. Yeah, let's get him off. I don't want to, I don't want to look at him. All right, we, Brenda, would you soak up a couple of pitches, please? If you'd be so kind. Thank you. Uh, don't, we need to get this guy's uh, arm a little bit less capable. Not not that it's proved any kind of capability. His first pitch to us, well, his third, fourth, whatever pitch to us, we, uh, we stuck it over the fence. Uh, is Disneyland. I might take him out. Yeah, I might take him out. Okay, right. Crampons. Now's your time to shine, son. All right, there we go. Well, that's Bernie Crampons, you never know. Well, there you go, Billy. You could possibly have predicted it, though, couldn't you? Well done, Bernie. Yeah, you know what? That It would have been more useful if you just stood there and got struck out. Uh, right, too soon for the prod. Let's bring in Tulip. Uh, I'm not using Jeff today because uh, uh, we're, we're resting him up. He is playable, but, uh, but we're going to rest him up for a little while, and that way he'll be more playable in the next game. Because uh, we're, we'll lead off with, uh, with Chet Vacant in the next one. And, uh, and see where that gets us. But whether we win or lose... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. Mr. Kang's home run there. That takes the score to 7 to 10. Oh, this is, this is so much closer than it was supposed to be. Uh, and when you stick nine runs on him in the first inning, you kind of go, oh, we... We might win this one, but now it's looking less and less likely as they are seemingly able to cut. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, that'll be Tulip Banter's confidence shot to ribbons then. Oh, boy. All right, concentrate. Put in some halfway decent pitches. Tulip, how are you feeling? A bit tense. Yeah. The, the series is on. The season is on the line, Tulip. The season, the whole season, is on the line. She's got a she's got a cracking fastball, but her accuracy is not all that. Okay, all right, we'll use your cracking fastball then. There you go, strike two. What do you think? Another one? Yeah. Get it on target. No, that one's not on target. Okay, all right. Right, try him with a try him with a curver. See if we can get some luck out of that. That's good enough. Furious to first. All right, one done. But uh, Bulldozer Power now are going to need an offensive performance to stay in the game. Oh, dear. We managed it in the first inning. Yeah, we did. Why have we not managed it since? Ah, oh, I put that down to the first inning, having been what we in the trade call a fluke. Oh, yeah. yeah. Out number two. This picks later is one of three with a single uh, today. Oh, that one's outside. Yeah, I, I know. I, I called that one up. You didn't have to. That one's up. Yeah. Okay. Chill it. Set yourself back down. Oh, dear. Settle yourself back down. Oh, no. Gives up a walk. All right. Okay. It's uh, Von Kludge. I think we might have mentioned that Von Kludge is playing very well today. Strike one. Yes. All right. She's back. Tulip banter. The legend. The myth. 
the uh, the mayhem of banter. Cindy to first, to first, to first. All right, quality save there. But it does not look good for the team. The momentum is all flowing in the other direction. And, uh, and we've got to make something out of this. We are at the top of the order. But that's not necessarily a good thing. All right, there goes Zoltan, doing what Zoltan does. Here's Furious, who, uh, as we already know, is having a mare. Uh, just an absolute diabolical day for Furious Spongebob. And it has not improved with that one, which was too high, and he should have left it alone. Out number two. BDP are not yet in it. Here's Veronica. Tiny little feet. 27 feet tall, Veronica Hammock. Has been a solid player for us today, up until now. Well, top of the eighth inning. All those power leads, 10 runs to eight. Are you on the edge of your seat yet? No? Might want to shuffle forward another couple of centimetres there. Uh, because we're, we're coming up on do or die time. Strike one. Yes. All right. Chill it, Banter. Strike two. Yes. He's a whiffer. <laughs> didn't, didn't seem to hurt him last time. Ball one. Okay. Come on, Chillip. Come on, Chillip. There it is. Chillip Banter gets one back with a strikeout. That's going to improve a move. Here's Jalen Rubenstein. They're taking him out for train boy. Who is going to endeavour to do something probably involving trains? That one's going as far as Brenda. She gets it, throws to first, and that's out number two. Good, excellent, good, and furthermore, excellent. Here's He's Miu. He's not hit anything yet today, which means he's probably going to hit this one over the fence because he has had a home run in the playoffs. Uh, back in game one, he got himself a home run. So we know that he does know where the fence is and, furthermore, how to hit it that far. That one's going to Brenda. She's got it. Can she get the throw in any time? No. Oh, well. All right. Okay. Here's Mr. Cag. He's got a home run and a double, and he's batted a run in, which was probably himself on the home run. And he's did that one foul. That's one. Get him out. Come on, Tulip. I believe in you. That's a foul. Come on, Tulip. You can do it. You can do it. Put this one a mile away. There you are. Right. Now, put this one exactly where I ask you to put it, please. Near enough. Cindy Vapid. Did not dive. Oh, she got there too late. There was too much zing on the ball. Brenda, hold on to it, please. All right. Well, for those of you able to do some simple mathematics in their head... Uh, you can see that with runners on first and second uh, uh, and the top current score line and the fact that this is the Plastic Vicar who has two home runs today. That uh, this is this is a high pressure moment. Uh oh. No, they are going for it. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, Julie, to uh, give him some credit where he, he... I mean, he rarely deserves any, to be honest, but uh, to give him a little bit of credit... His instincts were exactly right there, but the Vicar's gone for the fence and he might get it. Oh, God. And the bullnoser power collapse is complete as the Colonel School take the lead here in the eighth inning. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Here's Hooker's Tree Boy. Uh, tree, tree, whatever. Hooker's Tree Boar. Tree, but whatever. Um, and... Uh, it's a catastrophe of epic proportion. Uh, you may have read the Iliad, but that is nothing on this. Here's Carlo the Curious who's coming into pitch. Two innings remain. And uh, Colonel School have taken the uh, taken the lead for the first time. And Bulldozer Power are going to need to find something in the reserve tank. I would argue that does not mean hitting badly. Kojak's making a move. Got it. Lucky, but I'll take luck all day. Thank you. Here's failure. All right, okay. All right. Okay, ball two. Ulysses failure. Ball three. Color the curious pitching. Strike one. Ulysses failure. 
Hits it uh, into the right place. We could have waited to get the walk there, but I wasn't right. Uh, I didn't want to chance it. All right, here's Cindy. She's had one hit today, but it went over the fence. So, I mean, that's nice. Uh, we're not in any hurry here. We want to wear down their pitchers, given that the uh, there is a strong likelihood with this game will go to, uh, to well, this series will go to five games. Uh, exhausting their pitchers only works in our favour. So, uh, there is that. That said, our own pitchers are pretty tired. That's two strikes now. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, Cindy. Amaze me. All right, okay, that counts. Carson. That's not bad. 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 That is not bad. Cindy Vapid knocking in her second home run of the... Would you believe it? Would you? Would you believe it, friends? Uh, and Bulldozer Power snatched the lead back uh, again here at the bottom of the eighth inning. Uh, Julie Hardware now. He's going to get out. That's fine. We've, we've done what we came here to do. Um, yeah, I know. We should do some more. Get your concentration levels back up, son. Come on. Brenda Ferrer. We don't know where in the lineup she belongs, uh, but here she is. Uh, one on one is a count. Ah, fell like a ball. Not going to chance it. I don't want to be struck out because it improves the mood of the pitcher too much. I would rather just get out. Uh, here's Tulip Banter. Put her away. All right. Okay, who have we got on the uh, on the bench? Well, it's going to be Lynn Mephisto. Everybody else is walking wounded. All right. Lynn Mephisto, everybody. Lynn Mephisto gets on base. Good. All right. Okay. All right. That'll bring up Zoltan. And uh, the, the, the inning isn't over yet. It's probably it. Carl Anacurus is done. They're bringing in Blanjo Slapdash, who is an excellent pitcher. Uh, to uh, to hopefully try and put uh, well, as they think it's hopefully, obviously from my perspective, not even slightly. That'll do. Good job there, Zoltan. It's because I wasn't the opening pitcher in this inning. It's uh, the opening batter. Ah, yeah. Oh, is there a redemption story for Furious SpongeBob? Does a base hit count as a redemption story? Don't know. Well, from a redemption story to a potential Cinderella story, it's Veronica Hammock and the bases are loaded. Heck of a pitcher she's facing off against. Ball two. Clearly a strike. That was fine. I was leaving that one alone. I should have left that one as well, uh, but that's uh, strike, th strike two, ball two. That's not going to do it. Uh, Veronica, no Cinderella story for you this time around. Uh, arguably, she's already had the Cinderella story. They're trying to make the sequel, and it's just not working out. Uh, Oscar Cattle Prod is going to come in and try and finish them off. Two-run lead for Bulldozer Power. Three batters between BDP and a two-game uh, two lead. What's it going to be? Strike one. All right, okay. Good place to start. Cattle Prod. Prodding Cattle with his prod. Strike two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if you hit it foul, son, as long as it's a strike. Try that. No, no he didn't fall for that. All right. And? Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Yeah. Go. Out. Here's picks later. Okay. All right. Same again, please, Oscar. I'm running low on pitchers. All right. I mean, the good news is, so are they. But uh, I'm running low on pitchers. I don't want to have to start putting starting pitchers out as relievers. They hate that, and it really, really wrecks their mood. Put out another fastball. Don't just alternate between the two. Thank you. Good pitch. Sadly wasted. All right. Okay. Try one of these. No. Try another one of them. Yeah. Cindy. Didn't get to it, and that's going to be on base. No. No, 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 no. We didn't want that. Did not want it. Oh, look who it is. Uh, it's a uh, tidy little mustachioed uh, Von Kludge. You could walk him. If you're going to walk him, do it deliberately so you're not wasting your arm on uh, on rubbish pitches. Uh, I don't know. 
No, try and get him. Try and get him. Go on, get him. That do. Oscar there with a strikeout. That's two away. And uh, that leaves Monty Rico the whiffer uh, for his... Uh, He's, this is it. It's all on him. He's broken his bat, but it went foul. Yeah, you're very clever, Monty. All right, ball one, strike one. Come on, Oscar, you can do this. Oh, uh, no. Okay, well, there's the hit that we didn't want. That's uh, runners now first and second. Once again, start doing the mathematics in your head. Is Banjo Slapdash. They're keeping him in. Game's on the line here. Yep, no, he's gone. Uh, they're bringing in Paul, uh, DJ Paul Chibi, uh, who is, uh, uh, ooh, ah. I, I get a very real sense he doesn't see very much action very often in the lineup here. Uh, the game is on the line. It's got some distance on that, but Veronica's there. She has it. Fairish Tale, story complete. And ball has a power win. But my goodness me, they did not make that look easy. They looked like they'd made it look easy, but then they didn't make it look easy by making it not easy to look at at all. Both teams went through a heck of a lot of substitutes in that one. And uh, the wing goes to Tulip Banter. Oh, okay. All right. She only pitched two innings. Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland came in and pitched four. Yes. All right, whatever. Uh, that's, that's okay. And the save goes to Cattle Prod, obviously enough. Uh, your top three stars of the day. Plastic Vicar with three home runs. Three. Three home runs. Three of them. My gosh. Cindy Vappi with two home runs. And Veronica Hammock, uh, who, uh, who had a heck of a day coming in off the bench. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. <sighs> So that gives uh, that gives Bulldozer Power a two to one lead here, uh, but we've got some more uh, we've got some more games to go. Uh, the Colonel Space Agency can uh, put the Pirates away today if uh, if they can get a win here. Uh, KSA, obviously the uh, the top ranked team in the league, coming into the playoffs, and they get it done, and they'll advance to the second round. Okay, all right. Next up, you've got Cheerio Inc. against the Sunshine Fun Bus. Cheerio ahead by a game. Uh, Sunbus trying to pull this one back and do so, taking it two to two. That one's going to go the distance. Next up is the Bumps and Medics versus Failurewood Hills. Failurewood Hills have the uh, uh, the advantage here. Danny Crimped pinching for them today. Uh, Calippo flavorings, uh, Felipe flexing, and Jack Snaggles are uh, hoping to accomplish something for the pitching for the Hills. Uh, a three to two, quiet game, but uh, Failurewood Hills advance. Uh, that means that still to be decided is the Sunshine Fun Bus versus Cheerio Inc. and Bulldozer Power versus Colonel School. Bulldozer Power, one more win. Get it done. I'll see you next time for that one. It's, it's sure to be a carnival atmosphere. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe. Hey, look, if you're new, I mean, I'd be amazed if there was anyone new watching this. If you are new... Go on, fling a subscription. There's, there's another two seasons of this, you know, and some of the commentary is really quite splendid. Go and watch some of it. It'll, they'll occupy some time. What else have you got going on? Stick it on in the background, pretending to listen to the radio. I am, I am relatively descriptive. Anyway, nobody's new here anyway. This is literally playing to the crowd. I'm at Colour Failure. Thank you for watching. And uh, cheerio. Let's put aside for a moment that I could have cleaned up on this one had I not got the entire team out by trying to force an extra base. Okay, let's put that to one side. What a game. Oh, hey. Now, I swear it's because I said that I'd skip over uh, any uh, any games that were a little bit dull. And therefore, we've had two back-to-back -back games that were anything but dull. Uh, I, I can't wait. Here's the plan. Scheme. Team. Scheme. Twag. Yeah, all of that business. Um, next week is going, to be, uh, is going to be a do or die game. So chances are that will live in its own right. However, if it, if it is a dull game, I will immediately advance forward to the next game after that. Uh, so you'll get a you'll get a double header if it's a dull game. Okay, there you go. Uh, and then if we make it through to the next round, pretty uh, I hope we do. Uh, if we make it through to the next round, uh, I will uh, I will do the final game of that series. Uh, we'll do that live. Okay, and then uh, if we win, we'll go on and we'll play the finals. Uh, and if we lose, then uh, uh, then that'll be quite a short stream, as as streams go. 
and, uh, and I, I don't know, I might do some, might do some impromptu, you know, Q and A type business. I don't know. Uh, this, of course, is all presumpting. Presumpting? Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, that uh, that I make it past this quarterfinal stage. Tune in next week and find out. I'll see you there. Where else would you see me? I don't know. Places, presumably. But there you are.